Today we're going to carry on with the uh, wall example and add slenderness. It's going to be 4800 millimeters in height. And what we have to do is uh, determine the P-delta effects because as the uh, wall deflects, it, it, it adds more moment to the wall and amplifies this factored moment. Uh, it really is a function of how high it is. The more slender or, or higher or thinner the wall is, the more the amplification factor is pronounced. So uh, let's um, start with uh, the EI effective calculation, and then we'll work out the Euler bucking load from there. And uh, here's the uh, here's the empirical equation right here, and here's the clause. So first of all, let's work out the eccentricities involved this E and find out more about this EK value. Well, the eccentricity is is, is straightforward. It's just going to be the uh, factored moment, unamplified factored moment, which is. Uh, 4,300 or 4,300,000 Newton millimeters over the 11,000 moment over P, which is 43 over 11,000. So the eccentricity is 391 millimeters. And uh, we have to compare it to the EK, the, the current eccentricity, which is the uh, EK is the point at which you put a load, which would just cause uh, cracking in the in the section. If it's solid, usually this is at uh, one sixth the thickness. But in our case, it has um, one core grouted every every six cores. So we have to calculate in order to get the um, the EK value. We, ne we need to know what the SE effective over the AE effective is for the section. And uh, I already have the, from the tables, I have the, the area solid if it was fully grouted. So if, if, this, if the area was fully grouted for the whole wall, it, this would be the area of the wall. And if it's hollow, no grouted, 72.4. And similarly, we have uh, section modulus is solid and hollow. But we have one core grouted every six cores. So we have to average these uh, values out. So let's do that right now first. So the the true area effective is going to be the hollow area, 72.4 uh, times how many cores are, are hollow, uh, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of the 6, right? That's, one, that's 5 plus a half and a half. There's 6 cores in a pattern. So times 5 over 6 plus the uh, area solid, which is 190, times 1 over 6. One, one out of every 6 cores are solid. So let's uh, calculate that. It's going to be 72.4, 5 over 6 plus 190 divided by 6. So that's 92. Uh, times 10 to the third millimeter squared per meter. And we do the same for section modulus. SE would be for hollow, we got 4.59 times 5 6 are hollow. 5 6 of the cores are hollow, and then 6.02. times one sixth of the chorus four point eight three times ten to the six millimeters cubed section modulus of millimeters cubed per meter. So now we can calculate um S E over A E, the E K so that's going to be 4.83 times 10 to the uh, 6 divided by the area effective 1 core per meter, 1 core every 6 grouted, 92 point, 92 times 10 to the 3rd, 6, 90.
EQ is 52, 2.5. Millimeters. So, sorry, this is EK. EK. That's EK. And uh, when we compare EK to E, we see that uh, the estricity is very is much higher in comparison to the current. How much higher? It's going to be. We could we could take a ratio. E over EK, and that's going to be 391 over 52.5. Five point five. So three ninety one. Sorry, three ninety one divided by two point five. Seven point uh, five approximately. It's a factor of seven point five. Again, so let's look. Let's look at this. If this, if this e minus e k term over two k, if that equals one, uh, and the way that you do it is if this is, if e is three times e k or more. If it's three times e k, then this. If this E is 3 times EK, then this comes up to 1. And then these two numbers cancel. This becomes 0. And all you'd be left with is I cracked. So whenever uh, this value here, this ratio E over EK, is greater than uh, 3 times EK, which it is, 52.5 times 3 is 100. Well, I mean, no. If the uh, 7.5, if the value, if this value is greater than three, that would imply that uh, ek, this 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 term here is going to be uh, uh, greater than or equal to one. So, in that case, these cancel out, and all you're left with is i cracked. So that's all we have to do because the elasticity is so high. Uh, EI effective is simply E times uh, I cracked, EM I cracked. So let's pick that up on the next page and uh, work out an, an I cracked uh, value. And then we can get to find out what the Euler buckling load is from there.